Hi there, everyone. This is Tina, and this is your message of the day. And this comes to you on the day of Saturday, April the 6th, 2024. And again, I'm trying a different thing, taking a different route and giving you the message through the video before the typed message, which will come only on Facebook. So you have to join me there to get the typed message. But the message is always there anyway. Don't think about how it comes. It'll come to you whichever way it's supposed to come. That's actually the main, you can say, theme of the day, that don't think about method and analyzing and did I do this right and should I do that? You know, all that stops us. That's really where we lose the momentum and the rhythm of life. Whatever seems important to you in the moment, give attention to it. Because today really is a day of simplifying and decluttering. So um, just keeping those two, two things in mind, you can say, or two aspects of life in mind, you'll be fine. Now, what is it that no longer serves me? And what is it that I want to enhance? And don't think about how you want to enhance it. In that moment, just take a small step towards enhancing it, and the rest of it will really become clear. Spiritual practices, more than ever, important to keep you calm, to keep you connected to your divine center, to your divine ones, the divine team around you, your divine voice, you can say, so that you're not giving in to momentary stress because this day will really make you want to really sort out your priorities. But again, it is the divine forces, you can say, stirring the pot or stirring things within you or around you to make you realize where it is that you deny the light and deny yourself the chance to be happy. So why do that to yourself when you have all of the universe literally holding your hand and saying, come on, hold our hands and let us take you forward. You just say yes. Remember the angelic forces, how they work. They only come forward when you ask for them and they want to see you happy. The divine ones want to see you happy, want to see you fulfilled, feeling important, expressing, giving, and receiving in equal measure. So do that for yourself this day. Just keep on keeping on, because if you see how the vision also comes, there's a huge rainbow of light behind her. That's the universal rainbow forces. Again, if you want to invite them as individual colors, or as Reiki, or as angelic forces, or as divine ones, and just to merge into a particular color at a particular moment for some reason, and you forgot what the name of the angel is, that's okay. Don't go out and buy a glossary of books now or try to find a glossary of books to explain. In that moment, ask, angelic forces, what is it? What is it that I need to know? Maybe you can keep what you can do for yourself is keep a diary close, and if you want to, write it down. And you'll find out that you have the capacity to channel and receive messages even that way. Or your heart just surges with a particular color. Oh, I can invite through there. Or you find out that a sound seems appealing. A fragrance is capturing your attention. A symbol, a flower. That comes in your thoughts. Or an essence. This is what I want to enhance. That comes into your mind and thoughts. Because look at her, she's just, she looks very playful, right? She's almost like inviting you like, do you really want to worry or do you want to see me and enjoy and play for this day? What, what is it that you choose? It's basically, she's asking you that what is it that you choose? You choose to worry and be a worry wart, a depressive or sad or angry. Is that working for you? Or she's, she's just looking at you saying, do you want to try another way? Because here I am helping you. And if you see her hair, it's all, all covering all over her. The crown, the left, the right, and it's black. Black, why? Clearing away, bringing back foundation, truth, clarity. It's not a bad color here. It's not darkness in this case. It's actually bringing back what is important. So the past, just to hold on to that which is important to you in the past and not to keep on holding on to sad memories or guilt or where you went wrong, what you could have done right. Remember, simplify and declutter. I didn't do that right. Let me change my ways. Let me change my habits. 
connections, relationships. Of course, you can't go back and redo relationships, but you can redo how you think about it and react to it this very moment. Then you've already changed your Akashic spaces anyway because your blueprint reacts immediately. How nice, right? That's why she has that huge headrest on top of her with full of hearts. Your heart will know it. Emotionally, you'll get some sign instantaneously from your heart to your mind about your decisions, about what you're engaging in, how you're reacting, what action steps you're taking forward. Because people sometimes have problem interpreting signs. That becomes an issue. How do I declutter that now? Don't. Ask to just be there. And this headrest, maybe keep looking back at it and just say, for one moment, I want that headrest to be sitting on top of my head, literally on top of my crown, directing my approach to this situation, to this concern, for this answer I'm seeking, for the healing I want. And the butterfly is there saying, just relax and let us gently guide you forward. Why is she sitting on top of the ear? It's basically to help you be approachable and receptive to new forms of meditation and prayer and invocation and sound and song and using your voice as a source of healing. So sound. That doesn't mean that you have to become a great clairaudient and be able to hear all of heaven, just you. Even the level of sound sometimes is something we have to declutter. We have too much, too much noise that we're giving into, unknowingly. So keep looking at her, and even the flowers around her are helping then your heart to heal, to love, to invite love, to extend love, to enjoy love, to not question love. Yes, we do question. That's another form of decluttering you might need. And if you see the sky behind her, it's multicolored, right? Part of it is white and then part of it is yellow. Why? White is that huge universe of creator, complete, all the realms of heaven you can think of. Divine Father, Divine Mother, every form of heavenly force is there. And then the yellow is saying whatever you want to enhance and strengthen in your life this day, it's coming to you. So simplify and declutter and don't give too much to any momentary stress or worry. Discard it. Discard all the unnecessary activities. And start first and foremost, if you can. In India, where I'm speaking from, it's a weekend time. So it's a time that we can give more to our homes and less to work if we're working. That depends on your lifestyle. I'm not commenting on that and where you are listening to this from. This just comes as a message and use it as, again, acceptable and applicable for you. So discard all the unnecessary activities and items from your life, beautifully streamlining your life again for the highest good. So you'll start to see bad becoming aware of the things in your life that are causing you stress, as I said. Now, if you're surrounded by too many physical things, so it could be just clearing of one cupboard or a tabletop, If you are a spiritual person, clearing your altar items for Reiki books, maybe diaries or something that you're using, that can become a cause of irritation. It is stagnant energy, basically. So ask Archangel Jophiel, the beautiful angel, also connected with Feng Shui, to help you eliminate items from your home that no longer resonate with you or give them away. So you're extending energy forward then. You're a giver and you cleared too. Both things resonate with you or your home's energies. Try and open your windows and doors this day and at least once a day every day so that Archangel Jophiel can send her maroon aura all around your home, refreshing the air 
literally the feeling energy of your home. If it's the personal space around you, just ask her to surround you with her maroon aura. Even if you don't remember her name, beautiful angel of Feng Shui. She'll come forward. She knows who, who she is. So don't think that this is now an archangel class that you have to remember each name. Besides, cleaning the air is you also saying that you're making a plan to rid yourself of items you don't use and that it is sitting there in your bedroom. And of course, it becomes movement-oriented then. A place of relaxation, respite for you. Because your home should have the feel and look of a personal sanctuary, a peaceful haven, even for those who enter, even for a moment. Like they've gone somewhere and just relaxed in a meditation center. As you go and feel in a place of worship, you should feel like that, like a temple, like a church that kind of a sanctuary. So let your home only contain that which reflects you, that has some deep significance and meaning for you. And this day, try as much as you can to not overextend yourself. And many of us even stop ourselves from relaxing, thinking that that's just being lazy. No, you're supposed to relax, not just keep doing and doing and doing. So if your body is indicating that in some way, or your mind is tired, then listen to that more than ever. And Archangel Jophiel will help you with that too. Her aura is not just for your home. It's literally for your mind and your aura to come back to what it needs to be. Even if you don't know what it is she's doing, you'll just feel relaxed, right? Feeling energy and mind energy are very much melded together this day. So don't overextend yourself wherever you feel that you're doing just too much. First ask yourself and ask the angels to help you learn then to say no so that you only commit to that which is manageable for you. When you feel your schedule is filling up with too much, or you're tired for no reason and you've not even done much, you're definitely cluttered. Again, the angelic forces never say no if you ask for the same clearing and same form of cleansing in the same day, 20 times in the same day, the same thing, the same room, the same aura. That's okay. That means there's a lot of layers of things to be cleaned. So lean on the angels. And this is the beauty of the angels that you can call upon them any moment of the day in any position, in any method, just if you sincerely ask and believe and stay in the moment and believe that they're there with you and also trust the signs that you receive as signs. Don't question. You'll receive them correctly. You cannot go wrong. You cannot miss an angel. They'll find a way to get through to you. Even if you've never known your guardian angel before, this is a superb day to ask for the guardian angel to literally extend their energy towards you. And they're unique to you. So you would immediately recognize them in some way as a nice song or a beautiful bird that used to keep on coming outside your window as a child. Or a lovely flower that you always liked. It's just your guardian angel trying to say hello to you all these years. And some of you already know them then deepen that connection and find out more and extend it. Nice, advanced ways to connect with your angel. And then you decide what is best for you in this moment. And then the wisdom of the angels, just give your attention and time to those things and those people that bring you joy. If that seems like that should be a higher priority, priority for you, that doesn't mean you neglect loved ones or friends or family that need your love and need your attention right now. 
just balance it all out. It'll all, it'll all flow. If you just flow and go with the moment to moment. You'll end more days than smiling if you do things in that manner. And you will win the battle over clutter immediately. Because sometimes we don't want to clean our house because it seems like it's a huge task. Like where do I start and where do I stop? Again, make the angels a part of that priority and part of that activity. We'll happily do it then and not fear it so much and not procrastinate on doing it. Sometimes we also procrastinate because it's almost like we want to hold on to the pain and we're so used to it that it becomes a better friend than actually inviting peace. You're just so used to battling and stress. Like that's just the way I'm supposed to be. But here, the angels say that you will feel more energetic and more vibrant. And that sense of carrying that weight will be lifted off you. You will start to look forward then to to your days, to all of your days. A greater sense of enjoyment will surround you in all that you do. And just look back to this and then see the flowers around earth. There are three of them, right? So mind, body, spirit. Find what it is that you want to simplify and declutter today. Because also if you see there are pink roses and maroon colored. Again carrying the energy of Archangel Jophiel. Upliftment. Peace. Enhancement. Clarity. Healing. Movement. And of course, your heart's desire, manifestations. What is it that you feel has become too complicated for you? I now surrender to the angelic forces, the simplifying angels. Help me with the decluttering angels. Help me with. It's not just Archangel Jophiel. Angels of house clearing. Angels of house cleaning, helping with the physical activity of cleaning my home. See, it can be that simple and easy. And if you try it for yourself and accomplish something, you'll say, wow, I actually managed to do that. Yes, the angels love me. I can ask for more now. It's always with a small win or victory that you'll want to try more complicated things. So why not try with something That works immediately, right? So use this affirmation for yourself this day. I now take charge of my home and my schedule. And I ask my angels to guide me on giving time to my highest priorities and cleaning my home of all items that no longer serve me. So my living space reflects who I am in an outward manner, outwardly. I ask for a feeling of simplicity and joy to be with me as I now eliminate all that drains me from my life. Wonderful chance, right? To do that. And so just look back to her and keep on talking to her throughout the day. Use the symbols. And if you see the robe she's wearing, it's you flowing with the moment within the day, gracefully and graciously, easily and effortlessly, just flowing. That's why it's blue, with determination, with clarity, with focus, with knowing, however you want to apply that blue color to yourself. It's nothing to do with that rainbow above her. That's a whole different concept, you can say, or a whole different instrument and helper for you. Because the divine ones just want to keep giving you and give you more and more ways to succeed, to be fulfilled and happy. And that's why the border surrounding her also is green. Heart energy, rejuvenation, healing, receiving, serenity, 
heart center, of course, feeling energy, all of that always comes together. So enjoy this day, simplify, declutter, don't carry anything that is unnecessary with you. Give it over, surrender it, be free. And remember the original blueprint you have that's never changed. I'm light and love, completely protected, completely free. Say that to yourself a thousand times if you have to, to remind yourself of what is important. And your priorities will re reflect, will reveal themselves instantaneously. And this comes as the beautiful message of light that it is. From as a graceful blessing from the angels by me, Tina. And I can be reached at T-I-N-A-S-A-R-U-P at the rate hotmail.com. In the superb way but that all the colors blend and the message of the universe just flows through so graciously and vibrantly, reminding us of what is real and true, comes through the art of Sue Miller. And Sue can be reached at S U E M I double L E R A R T dot com. And this is Tina signing off for now. Bye bye.